Yes, we are with two leads from A Tale of Two Cities, and they're going to tell us a little bit about the show and about themselves. So, hello everybody! Hi! <laughs> Can you tell us just what your name as well as what role you play in A Tale of Two Cities? Do you mind? Yeah, I'm Brittany Andam, um, and I'm playing <laughs> one of the Lucys in A Tale of Two Cities. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. And I am Jessica Sundwall Hudson, and I'm playing the other Lucy in A Tale of Two Cities. Awesome, awesome. Yes, so this is very exciting. Um, so I have some questions for you all, and uh, you know, we want to just kind of understand a little bit about the musical as well as just about yourself. So would you mind telling us a little bit about your role without giving us too much, mm -hmm. but as Lucy, what, uh, give us just a, a, what, what, who is she? So Lucy is a really interesting character. She is Right, she is sweet, she is kind, she is love, and um, but she also knows what she wants, and um, she really is a force in the show, and I'm, I feel really grateful to be able to portray her. I think um, I think people will really appreciate what we bring and what she has to offer. Awesome, mm -hmm. very cool, very cool. Oh man, and, and so uh, can you help me uh, understand a little bit of uh, what motivated you to actually come and audition? to this show. You know, it's actually funny because my little brother, I didn't see it the last time that Hale did it, but he saw it. Yeah. And um, we're kind of a musical theater family and he saw it and this musical kind of has become his musical theater mecca, if you will, he loves it. And, <laughs> and I remember him telling me about it and how touched he was when he saw it. Yeah. And he was just 10 years old and he just, it has impacted him ever since. And when I heard that they were having auditions, I told him, I was like, Hey, I have to go audition, and I'm so grateful I did because it is such a beautiful story. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually got to see a little bit of it when it was on Broadway, which oh, is kind of fun, and just I to know. see, just to see it being performed. It, I, it is a movie one, so we're absolutely in for a treat. This is so cool. Uh, can you help me understand what would you say would be the your favorite part about being in a Tale of Two Cities? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> Probably just, um, okay, so just as being Lucy, I, I love that we get to really explore so many um, different emotions within her. Like we have super, super highs, we have super, super lows, and we're able to have a really beautiful arc of mm -hmm. her of her growth and as she progresses through the story. Um, and it's really fulfilling as an actor and as a performer to be able to do that um, and to be able to explore that and bring that character to life. So. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. You know, and it's <laughs> great to, to know that there's so many colors in different uh, in different roles. Like you you said that there's overarching, you know, different moments, highs and lows, mm -hmm. and, and happy, sad. So yes. we need all those different moments mm -hmm. for sure. Um, what would you how would you describe the process of being prepared for a role like Lucy? Goodness, a lot of repetition. <laughs> just going through the script and really filling it out because, um, as Brittany was saying, it is a lot of highs and lows. And that's why I love this part too, is because she's very um, reflective of what the human experience is. We yeah. go through highs, we go through lows, and we go through trials, and we go through uh, triumphs, if you will. <laughs> right. And I, that's why I really wanted to make sure she was a human that she really was relatable yeah. in what she's going through. So a lot of repetition through the score and through the lines, oh just to make sure that she is relatable. Yeah, yeah, when you say repetition, like are you talking about during rehearsals do, uh, and on your own, kind of just going through it over and over? Over and over. Oh man, okay, absolutely. So, okay, um, what do you hope the audience will take away or receive from watching this type of musical? This might be a question for both of you. Absolutely. But absolutely. Um, me personally, I I feel like this this story takes place, you know, um, against the background of the beginning of the French Revolution, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of angst and turmoil and frustration amongst the people, you know, behind our story, and um, and I feel like. In today's climate, you know, there can be some unrest um, in a lot of areas yeah. in life. And I feel like just um, it's such a beautiful story of 
of just you know pure love and sacrifice and redemption. And I just I feel like um, I feel like a lot of people will really be able to resonate and will really will really come away from this moved. And I I felt from the very beginning from the moment I read the book, finished the book, read the script for the first time Whoa. that um, that this is like a story that people need to hear right now. And I I feel mm -hmm. really really blessed to be able to be a part of it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Well, that, this sounds like something that we can't miss. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do not miss it. Don't miss it. <laughs> if you can't get to get come, read the book. If you can't get to oh, yes. read the book. It's so beautiful. Wow. And even if you can't get to get to read the book. There you go. Because it's beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And... I hope that you get a chance to, to see these wonderful, wonderful performers up on stage and they're performing in A Tale of Two Cities as Lucy. It's gonna be wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to meet with me and, and share these things. So, Thank you, Tom. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see ya.